Is the COVID-19 vaccine the mark of the beast? Some Christians say it is. Some Christians say it isn't. Uh, for me, I believe it's very clear because I know the Word of God, and we're going to look at the Word of God. We're going to see what it says about the mark of the beast, and then we can compare the Word to the vaccine. And I believe after watching this video, you should know very clearly whether or not the vaccine is the mark. Amen. So let's get into the scripture. Let's see what the word says. I'm in Revelation 13, 16. He, he is the Antichrist, causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, so the mark goes on the right hand or or the foreheads and without it you can't buy or sell okay the vaccine it doesn't go on your forehead or your right hand it gets injected into your arm and you can still buy or sell with the vaccine or without the vaccine so when we see you know when we just look at the scripture we see that the vaccine is not the mark that's very clear, but um, there's there's definitely some things wrong with the vaccine, okay? I'm not getting the vaccine. I have no need personally for myself and my situation to get the vaccine. Hey, if you want to get the vaccine, you know, do you, be you. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to tell you what you should get or you shouldn't get. But again, what we see now, the COVID-19 vaccine has nothing to do with buying or selling, and it doesn't go on your forehead or your right hand. Now we may progress to a point where you need the vaccine to buy or sell, um, but I still don't believe it's the mark. I've already seen some, some sketchy things with the vaccine that I believe are evil and are causing division, like you need the vaccine to work at certain jobs, or you need the vaccine to you know attend college and, and go back and get your college education. So you know, you you could make a statement that the vaccine is is sort of preparing the way for the mark um you know I, i'm not fully sure no one can say for certain but what i can tell you for certain is that the vaccine is not the mark of the beast also i believe in pre-tribulation rapture that uh you know i'm going to be raptured and all the believers the holy spirit filled believers are going to be raptured up with god before the seven year tribulation and three and a half years into the seven year tribulation so right in the middle the antichrist is going to be revealed and then around that time you know the mark of the beast is going to come with it okay so we're not in the tribulation we're clearly not in the tribulation when you look at revelation when you see that these end time events these seven year tribulation events clearly none of them are happening yes some bad things are happening at the world uh you know we may see these these birth pains these growing pains uh talked about in in matthew 24 but we're not in the seven year tribulation the antichrist has not been revealed and the mark of the beast is not here okay so have discernment right always read the word just because you see something online someone says the vaccine is the mark of the beast don't just take them for their word but look at the word of god and you know seek god's counsel seek god's wisdom even hear what i'm saying right now you don't have to take it from me but if you want to go deeper into the word of god and and see it then do so and i'm just going to look at one last scripture on the mark revelation 14 9 to 10 then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast in his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. Indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So, for those who get the mark, right, it's not going to be good for them. They have to, you know, deny Jesus Christ and basically pledge allegiance to the Antichrist and his new world, his new economy that he's creating. <laughs> if you're not a believer and you're watching this, you might think, you know, that sounds crazy. You're crazy, dude. I'm going to hit the dislike button. I'm out of here. I don't know what you're talking about. But hey, you know, if these events come to pass 
in our lifetime. Uh, you are going to see this is the word of God, and God is not a man that he should lie. And I believe in the word. I stand on the word. And if that's you too, you know, feel free to hit like. Feel free to hit subscribe. I'm going to be here standing on the word and sharing Jesus Christ with whoever wants to listen. So God bless you. Have a good day.